Okay, here we have three cheap uh, FM radios, and all of them can be converted to the airband, but you want to avoid FM radios that utilize a scan button. You want an actual tuning wheel. It'll work much better that way. The scanning will work, but it's very difficult to find the airband frequencies while scanning. This one I've already modified, and I'm going to take this one apart and show you how to do it. Here we have the inside of the FM radio, and what we're looking for are the various coils inside. There's one here, another here, and another here. And to determine which one we need to modify, we just turn the radio on and touch the coils with something metal and see if the signal changes. So nothing happening there. Nothing happening there. Okay, you hear that? That's the coil we want. So, all we need to do is separate the coils, splay them out a little bit. And as we do that, we're going to change the reception range of the radio. and you want them as separated as possible without uncoiling them. There we go, doesn't have to be pretty. But now, we've moved the reception range up into the aviation band. You'll still receive some FM broadcast in the lower half of the tuning range. But about one half to two thirds of the tuning upper turning range will now be in the aviation band from 108 and up. And your coverage will vary and you can continue to tinker with moving your coils to try to change the frequency coverage. And that's as simple as that. Now you have an airband receiver. Okay, I've got the radio back together. Modification complete. And I wanna show you that I'm at the bottom of the band here, and we're still gonna receive some FM stations, but you'll notice as we get up toward about 94 megahertz, it's actually not 94 megahertz now, we're listening to a station that's actually up at the top of the AM, FM broadcast band. So when we go past that, you won't hear any stations. Now I have this alligator clipped to a larger antenna to make sure we can pick up as much FM broadcast or airband transmission as possible. And look, I'll go all the way up and down. We're not hearing anything. That's because this is the airband. And you have to kind of go back and forth quite a bit until you find either someone talking air to air or someone talking to a tower. And that's, we actually did a pretty good conversion here because we're getting about two thirds of, of our tuning range is now airband. Okay, so the volume control on this Junker radio is really going bad. So I'm gonna switch over to the other modified FM radio and try to get some airband audio recordings. Thank you. Thanks for quitting. Only number two, exit 824. The 795 will have to say 73. Thank you, Dave.